Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be making a collar and leash combo. This is a quick and fun project for all sewing levels. So let's get right into it. Getting started with supplies, you're going to grab two yards of webbing and you'll want to pick the correct width that best suits your pet. It also comes in many different colors so you'll have a lot of fun options to choose from. One buckle. In this buckle you want it to match the width of your webbing so make sure whatever webbing you grab you grab a buckle that matches that same width. One webbing slider and you'll also want to match this to the width of your webbing. Two D-rings. One you want the same width as the webbing and the other one you want smaller for the tag. And lastly one swivel eye snap. You also want to match this to the width of the webbing. Alright getting started. First off you're going to want to measure your pet's neck. And from that measurement, you're gonna to wanna to add three to four inches and then cut your webbing. This will give you enough allowance to feed it through the buckles. Next, you're gonna to wanna to light each end. This is gonna prevent the webbing from unraveling. Grab your webbing slider, feed your webbing from bottom to top and then back down to the bottom. Move the slider about six to seven inches up the webbing. Grab your buckle and on the side that has two openings, feed it the exact same way as the slider. From bottom to top, outside to inside. Feed about six to seven inches through that buckle. This end will have to go back up through the slider. So you're gonna to wanna to give a little slack into the slider and feed that end from the outside opening through the bottom up and back down through the inside opening. In this step can be a little bit tricky. The best thing to do is just give yourself enough slack so that way you can easily feed that end back up and down. Pull that end out about two inches and you're gonna be sewing it right back onto itself. We are gonna be doing a zigzag stitch here and going back and forth a few times to really lock that end down. It's crucial to get a good stitch on that end so it doesn't snap when there's a lot of tension. This will also be the end of the buckle you use to adjust the size. It's super simple, just feed the top of the webbing through the slider, through the buckle, and there you go, you adjust the size. And before you get any further, make sure that the top of the buckle and the top of the webbing slider are facing in the same direction. Moving to the other end of the webbing, grab your bigger D-ring that matches the width of your webbing, feed it through the D-ring, feed it through the other end of your buckle, pull the end out of the buckle about two to two and a half inches, Pull it past the D-ring and you're going to roll that end over so it creates a nice finished edge. You're going to be stitching on both sides of the D-ring so give yourself enough space so you can fit the presser foot through each side. We're going to be doing a straight stitch but definitely do a tack stitch go back and forth a few times so you really lock both of those ends down. And I think it's easiest to stitch the outside end that you rolled over first. Probably a good idea to unclip the buckle too but hey whatever works. Next we're going to be adding the D-ring for the tag holder and we're going to do it to the left of the main D-ring. And there's quite a few options for attaching this. We're going to show you two different methods by using leather and also a smaller width webbing. For the leather option, cut a strip of leather that's smaller than the width of the D-ring, feed it through the D-ring and you're going to use double sided rivets to fasten that onto the collar. The webbing option is very similar, feed the webbing through the D-ring, roll both of the ends over and stitch those ends down. Either of these methods work great. We're gonna go with the leather option. So what you're gonna do is grab your double-sided rivets, poke your holes in the leather strip, feed your rivets through, and before you attach it to the collar, make sure you feed that D-ring onto the leather strip. And lastly, add the backside of the rivet on and press it into position. And I'll add links to all this stuff in the description if you're looking for similar tools. And at this point, you're done with the collar. Once you get the hang of it, you can make these super quick. It's a fun thing to do and it makes for a good gift. Next, we're going to be working on the leash, and the leash is just as easy, if not easier. First, determine what size you want. You want a four foot or six foot, and then you're going to want to add on about 12 inches. This will give you enough allowance to add a handle and an eye snap. Feed the webbing through the eye snap and roll it over about two inches, giving you two inches out and two inches rolled over. And we're going to sew this in a box formation going around the outside edges and then we're going to come back and do a couple stitches in the middle. We really just want to tack this down so it doesn't rip apart. And you can even add more stitches if you want. You could also stitch it in an X formation. It's totally up to you on what style of stitch you want to do here. Grab the other end of the webbing and we're going to fold it over about 8 inches. And once you have it rolled over about 8 inches, we're going to take the end and roll it towards the inside about 2 inches. 
From here, we're gonna do a similar stitch pattern to what we did on the bottom end. We're gonna do a box stitch up and around, covering up that rolled over end. And again, feel free to do whatever stitch formation that's easiest for you. And there you go. At this point, I like to give it a nice tug to make sure that all the seams are tight and together. And the final step is adding a clip holder. What we're going to do is attach it the same way as we did for the collar tag holder. You can use leather or another piece of webbing. And this is going to give you the option of clipping different items on so you don't have to carry everything in your pockets. It's just a super simple extra thing that I wish more leashes had. But other than that, you are done with your leash. If you want to add a mid handle, it's pretty simple. All you do is cut about a 12 inch piece of webbing, fold the ends over about 2 inches, place it in the middle and stitch it down with the box stitch formation. And this handle can be added wherever it feels most comfortable for you. But other than that, you're totally done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out a lot. I'll be having more pet clothing and regular clothing, bunch of videos coming at you. So I'll see you next time.